Hey my friends, welcome back to a new video. Today we are entering into the 1st of June and I have a special message to everyone who will find this video. So firstly, welcome here. This is a month where you can start it with some beautiful words which can reaffirm that you are aligning your vibration to the vibration of the greatest version of yourself. This is the time where you can say to yourself that everything just seems to be going your way. Everything you want is effortlessly attracted to you. You are extremely blessed and luck always seems to find you. This is your month for receiving, my friends. So if you want to find yourself in a flow state where everything seems like everything is going your way. We actually just need to create that shift in perception, which means that we stop trying to control situations, but we rather start seeing the lessons that each moment is bringing to us. We become greater observers and suddenly we get out of that um, limited emotions of survival and we become more curious. Curiosity is putting us back into that childlike state where we become more excited, we become more creative, and we become more passionate about um, researching new things, new aspects of life. And most of all, we start seeing what more can we create, what more can we produce with our unique energy. So rather than, than just um, absorbing the frequencies around us, we start emanating our own frequency and that's where we start creating our own results. That's where we get from, from victims to creators. So my friends, you're extremely blessed and luck always seems to find you. Always remember that every single time you pause yourself, remind yourself that you're extremely blessed and luck always seems to find you. And there's one thing that I truly want to add here because I see often people are waiting to feel motivated to take certain action. I know that all of you want to, to change something in your life or you want to become more inspired or you want to, to create certain results but you're waiting to feel motivated to do that. Let me tell you something about motivation, what I've learned in my life. If you, are, if you are waiting to be motivated, you will be waiting forever. Maybe here and there things will be motivating you and you will do because you will do them because you feel motivated, but as soon as you will lose motivation, you will stop doing that. So often we are overrating motivation and science is calling motivation actually energy to take action. So we need to awaken that energy within us, which means that we need to motivate ourselves, which means that motivation is a byproduct of an act you do within yourself. To shift your energy means that we build focus, we build discipline, and we, we dedicate ourselves to the important things which we want to create. And that's where we will awaken motivation. So. To create greater focus, focus is like a muscle, you know, if every single day you start your day with things which are important to you, before you grab your phone or before you distract yourself, you start your day with things which are important to you, like being active, going for a run, going for a walk, do a workout, whatever it is, to awaken your brain, to awaken your body and, and what neuroscience is saying when we start our days more actively, we boost the level of dopamine, which is like a molecule, which is giving us that sense of satisfaction, that sense of feeling good. And that's from where all the motivation is coming from. So building a greater focus over the things which are important to you will help you to be more motivated. You know that when you have a goal to focus upon, the energy will pull you forward and open new doors. You will start seeing new opportunities. You will start seeing new possibilities that it is actually possible for you. And 
I'm receiving so often messages from people which are saying, hey, I, I'm doing what you're saying in your videos for like for a year, for two years, and I've suddenly started experiencing the manifestations that I wanted to see. And I always uh, experience these goosebumps because I'm so happy for all of you which are actually doing that work. Because it is not just about believing into something. It's actually about believing into yourself that you can do it, that you can change, that you can evolve, that you can experience what you want to experience in your own way. So remember that when you have a goal to focus upon, that energy will pull you forward and will open new doors. So rather than waiting to be motivated, Create some goals, you know, right now as June is the month where we enter into the summer, wouldn't be a great time to have some powerful goals which would inspire us. Every single day would inspire us to open our eyes, to do something positive, to do something good for us and maybe for people around us, for our family or for whoever you want to, to be a greater example. Let's add some goals that you will feel empowered by and passionate about. Those goals will give you drive and direction that that motivation can't and won't give you any time. You know, motivation is great byproduct, but when we truly set some powerful vision for the future, we will experience that drive to, to make it happen. So visualization may help you when it comes to, to walking that path. So always take time to envision your future and see if those things will be fulfilling you. If those are the things you actually want to experience, that's what will help you on that path. And you will see at times you will feel motivated and other times you want but focus and dedication will get you moving and will allow you to keep going once you've started following that path. So you see it's all about dedication, it's all about consistency because if I look my life I've noticed that sometimes I feel truly motivated to, to do an artwork or to, to film a video. And other times I don't feel motivated, but I'm dedicated to that because I know that's my calling. I know that that's what I want to do. And when I start doing that, suddenly that inspiration comes, suddenly motivation comes. So I've learned that it's not about waiting certain sensations. It's about awakening them. That's where we actually get to the realization that the whole power is actually within us. The whole power to change a certain internal state is within us. And as I said before, we go from absorbing the frequencies around us to starting to emanate them. And huge change starts appearing in our lives as soon as we start doing that because suddenly we recognize that inner creator, that inner alchemist, that inner um, creator of transformation within ourselves. And to me this is a beautiful point of awareness when a person realizes that more of anything everything starts in the quietness. You know, in the quietness of thought, we start thinking of our own thoughts and we start looking what or how the greatest version of ourselves would, would look like, how the greatest version of ourselves would think like, how the greatest version of ourselves would feel like. And we plug ourselves to that version of ourselves by questioning how would it feel right now? Who would I be right now if I would already be there? How would it feel? How would it feel if my reality would be already the way I want to experience it? How would it feel like? 
and suddenly you will realize that life is offering you opportunities. Can you see them? Life is always offering you opportunities which can get you there. Can you see them? If no, open your perspective. And sometimes we need to truly step outside of our identity and just observe our life, lives. Why we see so? Why we see ourselves so limited? Because we all know we are not that limited. We all know that there's so many greater potentials present within us, but we see our life so limitedly. Why is that? Well, because we don't allow ourselves to see a bigger picture, and that's why we need to become more adventurous, as I was talking in previous videos. And as soon as you allow yourself to become more adventurous, to do new things, to, to go to travel a little, bit, a little bit, to do things differently, to start using new words as you speak, to start thinking new thoughts when you think, to, to develop new beliefs uh, which can truly upgrade your programs, upgrade your state of consciousness. You will start feeling new emotions, which can be more empowering emotions. You will feel inspired, you will feel, you will feel motivated, you will feel in love with that process, you will feel passionate about creating. And who knows, you may just become more joyful about your life and suddenly you will see that's the energy you are emanating and suddenly more results will find you which will awaken more joy, which will awaken more passion, which will awaken more motivation, which will awaken more happiness and that's how the whole creation is working, you know? The universe is never punishing you and it is never rewarding you. It is just projecting back to you the vibration you are projecting to it. So, you know, every time you start emanating new energy, more empowering energy, higher energy, more inspiring energy, that's what you will get in return. So remember that. And open your heart, so let it sink in and type in the comments below, what are the things you're working on right now? Write something, you know, spread some love in the comment section to inspire one another to step onto that greater level of being because you are meant to do that. This is it for today, my friends. I'm sending you lots of love, blessings and power. Have a beautiful day and see you in the next one. One love.